Hey guys, so today I decided to join Average Tuna's weekly block palette build challenge. But before I reveal the final build in a smooth cinematic time lapse, we need to go back to when it all started. Three days ago. So it all started when I was scrolling through YouTube looking for some build inspiration for my upcoming plot project video, and I got a notification on my phone of a build competition on Tuna's Discord. So I clicked on the link and proceeded to try and build something for the challenge. And I came up with this pretty cool tower on an island build, but then I thought to myself, hmm, you know, in the rules section it does mention that no low effort builds are allowed in the competition, and the build is just a small tower in the middle of the ocean. But what if it wasn't just one tower? What if it was an entire farming kingdom? Day 1 started off with finding a good location to build in, and making some simple custom terrain. Also pissing in our lonely tower and deleting the unnecessary bits. Then placing it on a hill and duplicating it, as we end off the day with starting construction on the canal river. On day 2 I started with removing the floating tower, then built up the village's circular plateau section, and built up the canal to split the train into two sections. Then I added some sunflowers with a crop field, also our bridge, along with a crane and a windmill. Then I moved on to adding our first cottage house with hay bales for the roof and continued building some crop fields alongside our second house next to the windmill. Then I ended off the day with constructing the third cottage house. Day 3 started with adding texture and detail to the houses, and also adding some boxes and farming stuff to the alleyway, and our scarecrow. Then I removed the windmill blade and turned it into an irrigation tower, with a sluice to transfer the water to the fields. I also worked on the wall a little bit, then I moved on to the right side of the build, and added a crop field and a pathway from our bridge. I also added some small market stands selling goods and items. Lastly, I moved on to the crane, cause it was kinda in the way and I needed to move it to a new location. Then I left the build so I didn't get burnt out. After taking a break and asking a friend for village build ideas, I started construction of my favorite house of the build. Then I continued the wall and started building a little bit of a farm with an apple tree. After that, I added some vines to the castle walls and started texturing the stone brick to add age to the build. I then continued texturing on the other side of the build and changed most of the flower patches to different colors other than yellow. Then I constructed the village well and did some more touch-up work on sections that were a little lacking and needed some help. After that, I started upgrading the crane to be bigger and stronger, and I finally added another custom tree and another house, before I took a break to go get some food. Alright, story time. After getting some food, I decided to double check when the block palette challenge ends, because I was planning to finish the build tomorrow, and I promptly realized that I miscalculated how much time I have to work on the build, and the challenge ends tonight. So, uh, yeah, here's a time lapse of me panicking trying to finish the build. I ended up not 100% finishing the build, but I got it to a point where I could get at least four good screenshots, which I put together into one image to use it as my submission for the challenge. You're also probably wondering, did I win the challenge? Well, I I don't know. I'm assuming they're going to release the results at the end of week 4, which I will basically release those results in episode 4 of this build challenge series. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned for that one. Anyways, uh, now on to the uh, time lapse, well, the cinematic I promised you in the intro. 